So before I get into this series on health insurance, I wanted to tell my story about my experiences with health insurance and my child. Uh, I have a 13 year old daughter, her name is Judah, uh, but when she was four months old, she was diagnosed with a condition called macrocephaly. And to make a long story short, macrocephaly is basically an enlarged head. Uh, they told us that her head was in the 99th percentile and that her body was in the 33rd percentile. Uh, we had an HMO at the time and we were seeing a doctor um, at a local hospital and everything was going great up until the four months. And so when they told us that she had that condition, um, the next thing the doctor ordered was uh, a test for an ultrasound. Uh, so we needed to go through the HMO in order to get that approval for the ultrasound. So the doctor sent it off, sent it off to, the, uh, to the insurance for the approval and we waited two weeks for that approval. Um, and we kept calling and calling and calling and trying to find out where this, this uh, referral was. And they, were, they would always tell us it's in process, it's in process. And I would get upset and I would get angry and I would raise my voice. Um, and I could tell that the person on the other line did not appreciate me calling two to three times a day. Uh, so we finally get the referral and then we go to make the appointment for the ultrasound and we needed to wait another two weeks. So I, I can't describe a more anxiety filled month of my life um, because we didn't know what was gonna happen. We didn't know if our little girl was gonna be okay. Um, and me being a pediatric and neurological physical therapist, I'm thinking in my head, okay, the, the bones of the brain are going to close over. We're not going to be able to get the, the ultrasound done. They're going to have to sedate my baby and give her an MRI of her brain. And so all these things were going through my head. Uh, we ended up getting the ultrasound and her brain was totally fine. She just had a big head. And at the six month, uh, at the six month checkup, you know, her body had grown into her head. And so all was well. But um, after that time, my husband and I decided that we were going to buy a PPO insurance plan just for my daughter. Um, and it was expensive. It was really expensive. I think at the time we paid about $275 a month for the health insurance just for her. Um, but to us, it was worth it because if there were any other issues that were gonna crop up in the future, I wanted to make sure that we could handle it uh, immediately and having a PPO allowed us the flexibility to get the referrals or to get the answers that we needed in a timely manner um, when you have a PPO or when we had the PPO we didn't have to go through the primary care physician to get a referral to see a specialist we could go and get the testing and uh, make the appointments for the testing right away and uh, in many doctors offices and in many specialist offices uh, the PPO patients are the ones that get the priority. Uh, it's true. So follow me in this series because I'm going to talk about the different uh, insurances that you can get for your child and you can make a really educated decision as to which one is best for you. Uh, I want your child to be their best ever and I want to let you know Judah is totally fine today. She is alive and kicking and she's a beautiful 13 year old. Uh, I want your child to be their best ever. So I will see you next time.